The CP Theater Department is set to open their fall play, Neil Simon's Rumors, this weekend. Hi, I'm Chris with CPTV News. We're going to tell you about that. Plus, Facebook says they've changed their name. Why? The Crown Point High School Theater Department's fall play, Rumors, opens this Friday. The show will run November 12th, 13th, 19th, and 20th at 7 p.m. The cast and crew have been working hard over the past eight weeks to prepare for a successful run of the show. I chose this play because it's one of my absolute favorites. I've directed it twice before and I love it. And I'm a big fan of Neil Simon. He's an American treasure and his comedy is unbelievable. For more information and to purchase tickets, go to cphstheater.com. Facebook is facing a historic crisis. Revelations brought to light from whistleblower Francis Hogan, a former data scientist at Facebook, has led to what may be the most threatening scandal in the company's history. Complaints say Facebook's own research shows it amplifies hate, misinformation, and political unrest. One complaint alleges that Facebook's Instagram harms teenage girls. Some suggest Facebook posts could have led to the storming of the Capitol in January, in addition to other demonstrations and riots. In response, Facebook has announced that they have changed their corporate name to Meta, yet skeptics suggest the change was simply in response to the allegations and an attempt to separate in some way from the corporate branding. CPHS Key Club, NHS, and Student Council are currently seeking angels for their annual Salvation Army Angel Tree Holiday Gift Drive. Angel Tree is a program in which individuals and clubs support NWI families during the holiday season. Students can donate presents to these clubs, or if you would like to adopt your own family, you can visit the nearest Walmart to choose a family and drop off presents, or visit saangeltree.org for more information. Presents should be dropped off by December 3rd to ensure they can be wrapped and delivered prior to Christmas Day. The American Red Cross Blood Drive, sponsored by the CPHS Student Council, is fast approaching. The annual event, which will take place on Friday, November 19th, in the Fieldhouse, aims to garner lots of blood donations for those in need, especially with the ongoing pandemic. For those who are interested in participating, you can sign up during any lunch on Mondays and Fridays by approaching one of the student council representatives who will be present in the cafeteria. From there, you can sign up for a time slot that will work for you on the day of the drive. However, please note that those who are 16 years of age will need to fill out a permission slip that has to be signed by their parent or guardian before they can sign up. For those that have correctly signed up, you will receive a pass the day of the blood drive that will give you permission to head down to the field house. With an abundance of new projects coming to Crown Point, the University of Chicago has announced plans to open an outpatient and multi-specialty center right off of Interstate I-65 and 109th. The 116,000 square foot building will include a micro hospital with a small emergency room and a comprehensive cancer center, medical office spaces specializing in cardiology, neurology, orthopedics, imaging, and infusion centers. The University of Chicago said the hope is to bring university medical practice to Northwest Indiana. Construction is expected to start early next year and be completed by the spring of 2023. In CP Sports, the girls basketball team is coming off a state championship season and are currently ranked number one in the coaches' preseason poll. You know, it's a great, it's a credit to uh, what our team accomplished last year um, and uh, what we have coming back. Um, but, but it definitely is an honor um, to the group last year and uh, to the group we have coming back as far as to being ranked number one in the state to start the year. With five seniors returning and four returning starters from the championship game, they hope to get back to the state finals this season behind their Gatorade Player of the Year, senior star Jessica Carruthers. Before we go, a quick look at our CP weather forecast. Remember, for the latest in CP and NWI news, check in with CPTV News either at our regular CPTV newscast, here on Snapchat at CPTV underscore QuickCut, or on Twitter at Crown Team Media.